so I have this friend, and I have known her for about five years, five, six years. What started as a very professional relationship. She was my assistant manager, and I was the manager of a store down on Church Street. Well, needless to say, we developed a very strong friendship, and when hearts were broken, we were both there for each other. And when somebody needed to re be rebuilt, we rebuilt the other. I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of memories. I think two of my fondest memories were the night we went and we, the two of us went to go see Paranormal Activity, the first one, in the theaters, and it scared her so bad that she was crying. And, uh, yeah, and she had nightmares. We had to sleep in the same bed that night. But then the second memory are sleepovers, because we'd lay in bed all night, and we would talk right up until the sun rose. But it was one of those types of friendships where you would talk about anything and don't hold anything back and just... That's just that's just the way it was. But throughout those five years, she struggled with um, very bad drug addiction. It had absolutely consumed her. And I, I saw her ups, and I saw her downs, and I saw what brought her to it, and I saw what brought her out of it. But she, um... She struggled. She was doing the AA, she was doing the NA, she tried to do the Suboxone Clinic, she did all of that sort of stuff. And it was just, and, and she was doing really, really well, at least for the last year, year and a half. She met a boyfriend in one of the AA, which I know breaks one of the rules, and they were really good for each other. He really rode her hard to make sure she stayed clean, and she was doing really, really well. But she had this goal, especially in the last couple of months, she would sit me down and tell me, I want to have a sober day with you, Rick. And I told her I wanted to have a sober day with her, too. Well, a couple Thursdays back, I met her at one of the drug programs she was in, and we went back to her house, and she cooked me dinner. I know everything she cooked that night, it's burned in my mind. And she had it in her head that she was going to do the AA and NA because she had been struggling, I guess. And she had been struggling with the addiction. She had relapsed a little bit. But she was determined that this time it was going to work. And there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So we ate dinner, and that was that. We had made plans that we, I think a week or so later that we would end up going to the AA and NA meetings together. We were going to be each other's support system. We were both going to get completely clean, be accountable for each other's actions. We were going to do it. It was it, it was set up that way. Well, so that Thursday, I ended up going home and she kissed me on the cheek and she told me that she loved me. I love you, buddy. It was what she said and I love you, darling. My same thing. And I went home, and we had plans to get together on Monday. We were going to do one of our sleepovers where we could talk everything out. Well, Monday night, well, Monday morning, she ended up canceling, and she told, she, she ended up going spending the day with her father, whom she hadn't seen in quite a while. Well, she called me around 10 o'clock Monday night. We made plans to get together for karaoke on Saturday. She had this idea that I was a really good singer, and I'm really not. So we made the plans for Saturday, and we talked that she was having a little bit of a rough time, but she was getting clean. She was going to start the sober process. It was going to start now, and we were about to do it. Well... I ended that conversation with, I love you, darling, and she ended it with, I love you, I love you, buddy. Oh yeah, one other thing, that conversation, we um, ended up talking somewhere along the lines, we got into soulmates, and she felt that I was her soulmate, and that she was mine, I, 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 don't, I don't know, it was very will and grace for me, but she was one of those types of friends, if that sentence alone sticks with you, it was that type of friendship. Well... We hung up, that was 10 o'clock that Monday, and Tuesday night, I believe it was April 12th, around 11 o'clock, I got a call from her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, I don't know what they were at the time, and apparently, shortly after she got off the phone with me, and sometime around 6 o'clock, Tuesday morning, she, she died.
she killed herself, we think. We're not sure what she did. But general toxology reports say she suffered from respiratory failure and there was a cocktail of drugs in her system. So we don't know if she, if she killed herself, if she had a stroke, she had a heart attack. We, we, we really don't know. And I wanted to make this video just because, you know, this woman had a lot of strength. She was a very, very strong woman. She was a very admirable woman. And she was one of the most important people in my life. And it's just, I don't know, like, we got together that Saturday, but she was in a box. She had been cremated. It was that Saturday that we got together for karaoke was her fucking funeral, you know what I mean? How do you how do you respond to that? And it's just sort of some say it was suicide. Others say uh, her lungs just gave out, but they're saying there were drugs in her system. Um some say she just gave up and you know, I, I went to her funeral, I did all of that and I remained really strong. But it's been really, really hard, and I really, really miss her. But the the point of this video, I, I know I keep going off on tangents, but the point of this video is really that, you know, drug addiction can rule your life. It can rule your life, it can ruin your life. And I just hope that in the end, that when Carrie closed her eyes and it was the end, I just hope that she, um, that she didn't suffer and I, I really, I, I really hope that that's, that that's how that played out because I don't, it's just really hard and then I need to make this video because it's just sort of my statement against this. And I've never been so staunchly against drugs, which is completely like at odds with everything about me. And I just... I just want to do it. I just want to be off them, and I just can't be off them. And it's just, I just need her remembered, and I need her remembered forever. And that's what this video is, you know. 